Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to understand solve example 9.1. This is under CBSC standard 9 syllabus. A constant force x on an object of mass 5 kg. So this is mass of an object that is 5 kg for a duration of 2 seconds. It increases the object's velocity from 3 meter per second to 7 meter per second. So this is a change in velocity from 3 meter per second to 7 meter per second. So whenever you are so whenever you are solving any numerical first note down all the information given in the question. So first 5 kg is the mass of an object. So here I am writing m equals to 5 kg. Then for a duration force is acting on this object for a duration of this much time. So our t here is 2 second. Then it is changing object's velocity because of this force whatever force has been applicable to that for 2 second it has changed its velocity from 3 meter per second to 7 meter per second that means initial velocity was 3 and afterwards after application of force it has become 7 so initial velocity is u that is 3 meter per second now final velocity has become 7 meter per second Find the magnitude of applied force. So we have to find out the magnitude of applied force that is force only. When they are asking that what will be the magnitude of force. That means how much force has been applied to this object. So let us first find out the force for this situation. Then we will go for second question. So here F equals to m v minus u divided by t for that we have to check that what all units they have given is proper or not so mass is in kg time is in second velocity is in meter per second so all the units are correct according to our formula here we are putting all the values as per the given values that is 7 minus 3 in division 2 will be there. So here we are getting 5. 7 minus 3 is 4. So 4 divided by 2. Here 20 divided by 2. So we will get 10. Now force is 10. Now what is a unit of force that is Newton? So I am writing here N. So when 10 Newton force has been applied on object which is 5 kg for 2 seconds, then its velocity will change from 3 meter per second to 7 meter per second. Now, second question. Now, if the force was applied for a duration of 5 seconds, so here they are changing the time. Earlier we were applying for 2 seconds. Now, the same force we are applying for longer period of time. Then what will be the effect? Then what would be the final velocity of the object? We know that as per the second law of motion that when you will increase a time then its effect will be increased and you can see that in final velocity. So here final velocity will be more than 7. Final velocity will be more than 7 because we are here increasing the time. So let us right here that what will be the final velocity we have to find out the final velocity so f equals to m into the bracket v minus u divided by t here we have to find out the v we have to find out the v so we have to make equation with respect to v so let us take all the other things that is m u and v towards this side that is left hand side so f into t because here it is in denominator, when we are changing a side, it will go to numerator. So F into T. Now M is in numerator. It will go to denominator when it is changing a sign. Now, here we are getting V and minus U is there. So when this minus U is changing a side, it will become plus U. Plus U. And here we are writing V. So this is our new formula according to this numerical.
Why? Because all the other values we know, only value which we do not know is v. That is final velocity. That we are going to find out from here. Now let us write v equals to force. How much force we have applied? 10 Newton. Because they have said that same force we are applying. So 10 into time. Here time we have changed that is 5 seconds. So here we are going to write 5 divided by m. So mass will remain same that is 5. And plus initial velocity will also remain same that is 3. So here 5, 5 we can cancel it out and we will get 10 plus 3. So that is 13. So our final velocity is 13. Now what will be the unit of this 13? That is 13 meter per second because that is a velocity. Now this is our second answer. That this answer will give us force and same force we are applying for longer period of time. It will generate higher velocity. The final velocity will be more and that is 13 meter per second. Hope this video has solved your many doubts. In coming videos, we are going to discuss some important concept of chapter 9. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.